What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm headed out to go uh, do hopefully a hanging hunt. <laughs> I tried to do a hanging hunt last night on the same piece of property that I'm headed to today, but it was so dang loud when I got into the trees. It was like, I am not gonna try to disturb everything trying to hang this stand. It was super, super calm, very dry, leaves on the ground. So uh, I decided to just do a ground assault last night and had a mature buck came in, it would have worked out because I had a little two point come in, he skirted me at 15, 20 yards, didn't even know I was there. I would have had a shot for sure if a big buck had done that. So um, I'm headed back to the same piece of property. Hopefully I'm getting there early enough that I can get a hang and hunt done on the other side of the property um, because I know there's some more trees along that creek bed that hopefully should be able to accept a tree stand. So that's the plan. Headed there, gonna stop and get a little bit of fuel first, and then we will be out there hopefully right around 1, 1 1.30. So, should be good. All right guys, made it out to my spot. I am, uh, I got all sorts of stuff I gotta get ready, because I kinda just threw things in the truck last night. So, gotta get some things situated, and then I'll be heading back in here, looking for a place to set up the stand, and, uh, have should have a great evening set i'm excited about it this is a new to me spot i mean last night i saw two different bucks and uh, i could hear when i was leaving the property i could hear deer just chasing like crazy in the bottoms so um, i think i'm going to get in tight to the ridge line that drops down into the creek bed and uh, get my wind right so i'll be downwind of the bedding and uh man a buck might just come by looking for a doe so that's the game plan we're gonna get things ready but look at this mess <laughs> i need to get a little bit more organized things kind of exploded in my truck since oklahoma so anyway gonna get this mess taken care of get the stand all hooked up and uh head down to the woods i'm making one change I'm bringing my lucky hat from last year. I killed both my Nebraska deer and my Missouri deer wearing this hat. So <laughs> that one's going in with me tonight. I'm gonna do just a quick breakdown of my pack because I get this question a lot. And uh, those of you who wanna know, you can take a little something away from this as to how I set up my hang and hunt tree stand on my Kafaru pack. So. So the bag itself is the Kafaru Shape Charge. So inside of the pack, I'm gonna have um, my camera base, camera gear, extra clothes, snacks, uh, tags, anything and everything uh, that, like my essentials for um, hunting. There's gonna be some uh, twist tie bow hangers in there. Uh, just uh, medical kit stuff like that so on the side of the pouch the shape charge has two pouches just like this on the side of the pouch I'm gonna have my camera arm my fourth arrow camera arm and then on the left side I'm gonna have a 32 ounce water um, on the back of the bag I'm gonna have obviously the tree stand and that gets secured with the two compression straps on the shape charge they're very very long straps so you've got plenty of length to strap down your tree stand and i just go through one of the holes in the grate and strap that down as well as the bottom of the tree stand i stick through the bottom grab loop of the bag and then strap it down with the lower compression strap and i stuff my uh, rattling antlers underneath that strap everything's nice and secure it's not going to go anywhere so that's pretty much how I have that bag set up. And then in the side pouch of the bag, I'm gonna have my release, um, grunt tube, range finder, Allen wrenches, anything and everything that I need readily accessible is gonna be in the right hand side pocket. And then on the strap of the bag itself is my Peak Design capture clip for my camera so that I can carry it hands free. I think that about does it. It's pretty much everything in there, so anyway. I'm gonna grab my bow and start heading into the woods.
this is my tree. It might be kind of hard to hang in, but we're gonna figure it out. All right, got the stand hung up there. Get all my things put back together. Head up the tree. Well guys, I am all set up in my spot. It honestly was kind of a sketchy tree to hang in. It just got such a, a lean back to it that uh, it made it kind of hard to figure out, but uh, no problem. As long as you got a harness and you're confident in what you're doing, you can hang in just about any tree, honestly. But big key to that is knowing how to use your harness. Always, always, always hang tree stands with a harness, never do it without. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> just a friendly reminder. <laughs> so I'm set up in my spot and uh, it's a solid spot from what it looks like on the maps. I've got a field to my left, I've got a field in front of me, and I've got a field to my right. This is kind of like a turkey foot finger, if you will. There's a dry creek bed that runs right down in front of me and I can see three or four trails cutting up all in the same spot. So. I've got my lucky hat with me. This is the hat that I wore um, last year during rotation, and I killed my Nebraska deer with it, and I killed my Missouri deer with it. So, hoping it brings some more luck again. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm really enjoying making them. Uh, I'm excited to see what tonight holds. Man, it's uh, it's warm out. It's probably 60, 62 degrees right now at least. Might hinder the deer movement a little bit, but I'm hoping it picks up. That last like hour of light could drop back down a little bit. Get down into maybe the low 50s. Hopefully that gets them on their feet. Well, so far all I've seen is a doe and a bunch of squirrels, but we've got about half hour maybe of light left and it is just dead calm. You can hear a combine running across the road, but saw a doe come out to that far cornfield and that was it, waiting on a waiting on a big buck to come cruising through. We'll see. Well guys, that was a short one to say the least. Um, you know, I just had enough time to get an evening hunt in today. Uh, this morning, like I said, I was working on finishing up some edits for this rotation series. So uh, yeah, just a quick one. Got in, did a hanging hunt. I saw one doe on the other side of the draw working her way out into the cornfield, and that was it. I heard a lot of coyotes, saw a lot of squirrels, but uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. So, kind of a short video, but I hope you guys enjoyed my pack breakdown and how I carry my tree stand in and out of the woods. And yeah, so anyway, just a fun hunt. You don't always have to see deer to enjoy your time in the woods. Um, more often than not, I have hunts like this. I mean, you guys can kind of see that throughout the rotation series. There's a lot of times that I do hunts and don't see any deer and that is perfectly normal. Um, not every single uh, hunt is gonna have a kill shot 
or a bunch of crazy action. Uh, it's fun when it does, but otherwise, you know, this is hunting. This is what it's all about, enjoying your time in the woods regardless of seeing deer or not. Uh, just having fun. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please remember to smash that subscribe button, give this video a like, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.